have the love affair of a lifetime with yourself. No, really. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stacy Storino from Woman 101. Self-love is not selfish love. Not when it's done right. Self-love isn't narcissism. Not when you do leave room in your heart for other people's wants, needs, and rights. It's just that you're not ignoring your own wants, needs, and rights. If you haven't been so good at loving yourself, perhaps you need to dive deep to ground zero and start all over again in terms of this relationship. Once you're solid on your own rights, needs, and wants, you've already begun to prime the pump for increased self-respect and self-esteem. But how to truly fall in love with yourself to the point where you believe you're a precious and worthy human being as much as any significant other or spouse you've ever had in your life, if not more so. Just like when you're trying to attract and date someone else, when you're properly going about trying to woo you, you shouldn't be so desperate to create intimacy that you interfere with the healthy, natural growth and development of that relationship. When trying to fall in love with someone else, you take all the time that's necessary to know them so that love grows organically between the two of you. Similarly, you shouldn't stress out or try to force your sense of self-love. Take it easy. It's a priority, but it shouldn't be a chore. Just be committed to being a happier, more well-adjusted person in general who may just, down the road, attract other happy, well-adjusted folks to have love relationships with. But be just as excited about the prospect of loving yourself as you would be about falling in love with someone else. Honestly, you know that all of those thoughts, dreams, and wishes you have involving your beloved or your intended beloved, well, that sort of energy, is it being channeled into your feelings about yourself? No? Probably not. So work on this and don't rush it or otherwise obsess over how weird it feels to be placing so much emphasis on loving yourself. You'll end up feeling overwhelmed and turn yourself off on the concept. And that's sad because you'll lose the true love of your life, yourself. You carry yourself around 24 seven. So it's important that you master this relationship with yourself because, well, it's for life. It should be a happy, healthy, smart, and strong life, not one reeking of desperation and over-eagerness because someone else isn't in it. Take care of your own self-love first before trying to graduate to someone else. Start thinking of yourself as someone who's worthy of cards, chocolates, flower petals on the bed, you know, whatever. If someone else isn't buying you chocolate, do it for yourself. Spoil yourself. Dote on yourself for a change. Be open to the concept that you're worthy of being wooed, and eventually you'll have a healthy relationship on tap with both yourself and others who will sense what an absolutely well-balanced, level-headed, awesome person you are. Who doesn't want to fall in love with that person? The desperate chick? Not so much. Now, I'd really love to know if you found any of this advice helpful. So go ahead and comment down below. Smash that like button. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel for free life coaching. We're coming out with cool new videos that'll change the way you live your life. You're a chick with a heart of gold. It's Woman 101's mission to help keep that heart happy, healthy, smart, and strong. Woman 101, be wise with your heart.